it became very trendy to say, I feel like X, Y, Z. Really, you're not feeling anything, you're thinking something. People misuse the word feel when they should say think. So pop psychology said, hey everybody, do I statements. I statements are kind, they're a better way to communicate. This is like 1990s. Just remember when you're in a difficult conversation, you wanna put on your giraffe ears, not your jackal ears. English happens to be a pretty violent language because a lot of the phrases and the way that we construct sentences came from feudal times. Let's talk about jackal ears and giraffe ears. My fairy godmother Iris taught me this concept and it actually goes back to nonviolent communication, the famous book by Marshall Rosenberg. I will link to my episode about NVC, which is considered the book that transformed Microsoft's culture. It's all about communicating in a way that's not violent. English happens to be a pretty violent language because a lot of the phrases and the way that we construct sentences came from feudal times very much a class system, caste system in ways. So jackal ears are when you're listening with your defenses up. Giraffe ears are coming from a soft, open, curious place, just to bottom line it. If you don't even finish the episode, just remember when you're in a difficult conversation, you want to put on your giraffe ears, not your jackal ears. At some point in the last 10 or 20 years, it became very trendy to say, I feel like X, Y, Z. Really, you're not feeling anything, you're thinking something. People misuse the word feel when they should say think. Women especially do this because it ostensibly is softer or more gentle or it's an I statement, right? So pop psychology said, hey everybody, do I statements. I statements are kind, they're a better way to communicate. This is like 1990s. If you pick up an issue of psychology today, let's make an I statement. Good start. Not saying I statements are bad, but actually, if you think about nonviolent communication, a much more effective nonviolent way to speak is to state a fact and then state your reaction to it and then make a request for how things could be in the future, but it's not a demand, it's a request. Here's an example. If you've ever watched The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, these women are saying, I feel like, I feel left and right. And it allows them to have confrontations, but that they're in this masquerade of, well, I'm just expressing my feelings. You're not expressing a feeling when you say, I feel like you don't care about me. I feel like you don't pay me enough. I feel like you don't value my ideas. That's not a feeling, that's a thought. A feeling is I feel sad, I feel inconsequential, I feel frustrated. So you don't say I feel like you because in that case you might as well just do an accusation, a you statement. It's a you statement, but it has the mask of I feel like at the beginning. You're not expressing a feeling. We need to be careful with our words. Words are very powerful. Feel and think are verbs. They're different and they're not interchangeable. They're not interchangeable. And it's okay to express a thought. You don't have to be in a meeting and think, well, if I say I feel like, it's a softer statement. People will like me better, especially if you're a woman and you don't wanna to be too aggressive or assertive. Okay, look, you can say, I think, I think. Or my opinion, my take. Seems to me, seems to me is a great one. Seems is of course with Chris Voss, those powerful words with Chris Voss, seems, it seems like, great way to start a sentence. It seems like you've shut the door on new ideas. Are you open to hearing a new idea? It seems like we've given up on this. Is that right? So giraffe ears, jackal ears, even when someone's coming at you with, I feel like you don't value my ideas. What they're really saying is, I think you don't value my ideas. It's an accusation. But hear it with those giraffe ears and realize they probably just don't know any better. They never read Marshall Rosenberg. They don't understand that thoughts and feelings are different. And saying you feel doesn't make the thought less impactful. You're still gonna say what you're gonna say. Just because you said I feel, you're just being a housewife. It's it's funny when I watch the housewives though. I mean, I enjoy it. Like it's, it's junk food garbage when you wanna turn your brain off. Little housewives now and again never hurt anybody. And it is a cultural phenomenon and there's a lot of interesting marketing and branding going on on that show. Remember Bethany Frankel, the OG, the Michael Jordan of Housewives, was the first one to ever create a product, which was Skinny Girl Cocktails. She sold Skinny Girl Cocktails to Beam for a reported $100 million in 2011. Since then, all the Housewives are coming out with tequilas and rosés and lip liners and skincare and 
bathing suits. It's funny when Bethany first did it, people were mocking her and saying, oh, you wrap your car in skinny girl. That's so lame. You're like a big ad for yourself. She said, what are you wearing? Alphabet soup, G's, H's, C's. You're an ad for these companies. Gucci, Hermes, Chanel. You're a walking free billboard. At least I'm selling my own product. Everyone caught on eventually, but they all still haven't caught on to the fact that feelings are not thoughts. So I leave you with that. If you want to express a thought, just say, I think. It's okay to think. If you want to be so soft about it and say, I feel, because you think it's going to land a little more effectively, tactfully, then express an actual feeling. I feel frustrated. I feel cast aside. You want to express an actual emotion when you say, I feel. Emotions, not thoughts. Words matter. You'll catch yourself doing this all the time. It's just a cultural trend phenomenon where we all say, I feel like you're not feeling something, you're thinking something. Own it, just think, it's okay, you have a brain. You can think. When you feel, it's like the boy who cried wolf. When you actually have a feeling, you say, I feel sad. I feel inconsequential is a good one. When you feel inconsequential, that's a common feeling. People don't know how to express it. Maybe this will help you express it. Remember, Dr. Marshall Rosenberg, Nonviolent Communication, awesome book. I will link to that in the show notes and my episode that I talked more in depth about it. I will also link to that in the show notes. This is Voice Marketing with Emily Bender. It's a mini podcast that airs once or twice a week under 10 minutes per episode, usually. Give or take. emilybender.com slash podcast. Links to rate, review, subscribe, and see the most popular YouTube clips. Sometimes this podcast is audio only. Sometimes I also do a video. Thank you for listening. And I will see you next time.